It's great to see you all. Um, I am filming on something called WebEx, so that way I can play this awesome game with you called a Shapes Scavenger Hunt. So while I'm going to be talking up here and doing the scavenger hunt with you, I'm going to be showing you some pictures down below so you can see some examples of 2D and 3D shapes. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. All right, so the first thing that I want to teach you is that 2D shapes are flat. Can you say that? 2D shapes are flat. And 2D means two-dimensional. So it's just very flat, straight flat like a line. So like a triangle or a rectangle, a circle. These are all examples of flat shapes. You can't pick up a circle. Um but you can pick up something that is shaped like a circle. Does that make sense? Well, let's look at our first example of a 2D shape. Okay, does anyone know what the name of this shape is? A circle, that's right. And you can see the word says circle in the middle. All right, so here is how the game is gonna go. I'm going to show you this example. So you can see the donut, the, cir the um, clock, the target symbol, all these examples on the screen of circles. And then what we're gonna do is you're gonna press pause on whatever device you're watching this on. And then you're going to look around where you are and see if you can point to or bring a circle or whatever example shape to find that example, <laughs> if that makes sense. So you're going to go on a scavenger hunt for another example of that shape. So if I were to say, try to find an example of a circle where you are right now. Look around you. Hmm. What do you see that's a circle? I see that right here on my calendar for June, there's a sun and that shape is a circle. What example of a circle can you find right now? Hmm. All right, do you know how the work game works now? Okay, great, here we go. We're gonna go on to the next shape. A square, that's right, a square. So this shape is a square, and a square has four sides, and it's got four corners. So if you look at any of the examples that are on your screen right now, I keep pointing straight ahead, but for you, it probably looks like it's down. You can see the cheese or the Cheez-Its or those lollipops, windows or squares, um, waffles, pillows like this one that I have, just like the one on your screen, <laughs> crackers. All right, now this time to make it fun for this scavenger hunt, we're gonna make it a little bit of a race, okay? Now, this really only works if you're at home and you can run around your house or point something really fast to try to find um, an example shape. But if you're watching this on the go, then you can always just point to a shape that you see around you too, okay? So, I'm gonna count down from three. You're gonna press pause, and then you're going to, as quickly as you can, find an example of this shape. Are you ready? Look around where you are right now and think, do I see an example of a square? Square. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Okay, what example of a square did you find? I found a post-it note. This is a perfect example of a square. It's got four sides and four corners, and they're all the same length around. That's a square. Okay, next exam. Okay, our next shape. What is this? A rectangle. A rectangle also has four sides and four corners, but a rectangle is like a stretched out version of a square. So it's kind of like you took a square and stretched it out a little bit because two of the sides are longer than the other two sides. And we can see rectangles everywhere. You can see rectangles with your TV. 
you're probably looking at a rectangle right now if you're watching on a computer or if you're watching on a phone or an iPad. What kind of rectangles can you identify? Hmm. On the picture below, you might see doors or the flag or money. All right, are you ready to race to try to find a rectangle? Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go! Oh. Okay, I found a book. A book is a rectangle because it has four sides. Two are longer and two are shorter. What example of a rectangle did you find? All right, next shape. What's this one? A triangle, that's right. A triangle has how many sides? Well, if you look at the Doritos below, you can count them. One, two, three. A triangle has three sides. And how many corners does it have or edges? Three. One, two, three. Three corners, three sides. So, look around where you are right now. Do you see any triangles? Hmm, this is a hard shape to find. You might even find triangles inside other shapes. Hmm, all right. When you're ready, you can press pause and we're gonna go race to find a triangle. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! Okay, so the triangle that I found was on a sweater that I have from college. And these are Greek letters, actually. Can you believe that in Greek, this is a letter that means delta? And it is a triangle too. It's got three sides and three corners. What triangle did you find? Okay. Ooh, does anyone know what shape this is? It's an oval, that's right, an oval. I like this oval word because if you look at the word, the O in oval is the shape of an oval. An oval, kind of like how a rectangle is a stretched out square, an oval is kind of like a stretched out circle. So think, do you see any of these kinds of shapes where you are? Hmm. An oval shape. Could be a football or an egg or a watermelon or an avocado or a mirror. Hmm. Are you ready to try to find an oval? All right, three, two, one, go. Oh, okay. I'm curious to know what oval you found because the oval that I could find was this game called catchphrase. And you can see that it's shaped like an oval and it's also got some oval shaped buttons on it. Okay, <laughs> an oval. Okay, so a hexagon, can you say that? Hexagon. What letter did I underline in the word hexagon? X. And what letter did I underline in the word six? X. So I remember a hexagon has six sides because they both have the letter X in them. So in my mind, sometimes I think of a sixagon. <laughs> so if that helps you to remember that a hexagon has six sides, then there you go. <laughs> All right, so a hexagon. These are a little bit harder to find <laughs> around. I want to see if you can find a hexagon where you are. Are you ready? If you look down below, you can see some examples of what a hexagon looks like. It's got six sides. Mm. I don't even know if Miss Jenikin can find one. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! Well, I hope you could find a hexagon because I could not find one. Um, but I will let you know if I find an actual hexagon around my house. 
Next shape, an octagon. Octagon. Do you see below the different examples of an octagon? What, oh, my light just turned off. <laughs> That's okay, I didn't need it anyway. What shape do you recognize below? It's also a safety sign that we probably learned about. A stop sign. Do you see that it says stop? Stop. And that is an octagon shape. So the next time that you're out with your mom or dad or whoever, and you're driving in the car and you find a stop sign, count the number of sides and angles, and you're going to count how many sides? Eight. That's right, eight sides and eight angles. <laughs> okay, if you'd like to try to find an octagon where you are, that's great. I also could not find an octagon in my house. Um, although the closest thing is this thing, which is a candle that I got. And I want us to count together the, uh, the sides that you see here, okay? Ooh, first I gotta make sure I Remember, I was at the top. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides at the bottom. Do you see that? Six sides. So what shape is this at the bottom? A hexagon. But I was actually looking at the top. One, two, three. I think that's 12. So look at that, Ms. Shinnikin found a, a hexagon and I didn't even know it. Um, next time you see a stop sign, count it and you will find it for our scavenger hunt octagon. All right, on to the next set of shapes. Well, 2D shapes are flat. 3D shapes are not flat. They are something you can hold or touch, like my vitamins. Um, they are a shape that you can touch. Does that make sense? If it doesn't yet, that's okay because we are going to look at our first 3D shape now. Okay, what is our first 3D shape? Does anyone know? If you said circle, then you're very close. It's not a circle because a circle is a flat shape. But all of these things that you see are things you can hold or touch, like a basketball. Well, you can't really touch the earth but you know what I mean, <laughs> it's round. Um, a Pokeball or a baseball or a lollipop or a bubble or any other kind of um, sphere, like a circle that you can hold around where you are. So let's see if you can find a sphere. Are you ready for our scavenger hunt for 3D shapes? Eek! Okay, ready, here we go. Three, two, one, go find a sphere. Okay, so I don't know what kind of sphere you found, but I hope that it matches one of these things that you see below. This was the sphere that I found, and it's not a perfect sphere, but it's very close, and it's actually a um, glass apple that a student gave me um, last year. So thank you very much um, to Aiden who gave me this. Um, all right, a sphere. Sphere. Okay, everyone, let's find our next 3D shape. What is this one? A cube. That's right. A cube. A cube is like a Rubik's cube or an ice cube or dice or blocks or linker cubes. What kind of cube can you find? Cubes are everywhere. And I bet that when we race, that you're going to beat me and you're going to find a cube super fast. You ready? You're going to press pause. Three, two, one, go. Okay, I came from the other way this time. I found my linker cubes. Um, they are kind of like, if you look at your cube or at one of the pictures below, you'll see that it's kind of like a square, but it's a square you can touch. It's three dimensional. Um, and instead of having four sides and four angles, it has six sides. Let's count those sides together with whatever cube you have. If you have a dice, this is especially easy because you can count using the numbers on the dice. One, two, three, four, five, 
six. Six sides on a cube. <laughs> All right, the next 3D shape we're going to look at here is a cylinder. A cylinder. That's right. This 3D shape is called a cylinder. And a cylinder shape has a circle on the top and a circle on the bottom. And then it goes straight down on the sides. So it kind of is curved um, on the edges. So for example, if you see below, toilet paper, a log from a tree, um, candles, cans, a can of soda, batteries. So all of these examples are cylinders. All right, let's see if you can find an example of a cylinder. Ready? Three, two, one, go. All right, I am curious to know what cylinder you found. I found toilet paper like in the picture. It's a cylinder because it has a circle on top and a circle on the bottom, and then it goes straight down on the sides. And then also I found my Clorox wipes. Circle on the top, circle on the bottom, and flat down on the sides. Okay, are you ready for our next shape? Okay, what do you think this one is? This is a cone. That's right, it's a cone shape. A cone shape is a circle that comes to a point. Can you say that? A circle that comes to a point. So, when you look for a cone, you might be thinking about a snow cone, or a traffic cone, or an ice cream cone, or a pine cone. All these examples are cones. What kind of cone can you find? Three, two, one, go! Eek! This is a hard one to find, but I looked at the picture for an example and I found a pine cone. It's called a pine cone because it's the shape of a cone. It's circle at the bottom and then it comes to a point at the top. It's not a perfect cone, but it's a pine cone. What cone did you find? If you're driving around, maybe you found a construction site and you saw a construction cone, like the orange one that's down here. <laughs> I had so much fun with you learning about what kinds of shapes you can find around. I am so excited that you got to learn about 3D shapes and 2D shapes. 2D shapes are flat, 3D shapes are not flat. What kind of shapes can you find? Bye!